You may remember in the Chronicles of Narnia, the four children in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. We've got Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. And they are the crux for most of the novels in the series. You may not be as familiar with the last book in the Chronicles of Narnia, The Last Battle. And without giving too much away, we get a reunion of these four children. Well, all the four children but one, Susan. And we hear with Susan that the issue is that she has found other things to focus on. She's a little bit more focused on the invitations she receives, on her status in the world. So she has given up her focus on the land of Narnia for the world around her. In fact, the land of Narnia is no longer something that she really believes in. She sees it simply as a fairy tale, as a story that they told each other, she and her siblings, as children. Now, all of us can fall into this pattern that Susan falls in. This isn't something that she's alone in. There are times for all of us when we are more focused on the world, that we are more focused on how others in the world perceive us, in what our status is in the world, what invitations we receive, how others think of us and perceive us. Sometimes we focus on these things instead of our relationship with God, instead of the things of faith, instead of those things that really and truly actually matter. And it helps us at times to stop and think about this, to think about where are we in our lives and where are we in our faith? What is our relationship with God like at this particular moment? Where are we when it comes to God? And if you're at a moment in time in your own life where you think, how did I get here? How did I get so far away from God in this moment? Well, thank goodness that we are currently in Lent, because this is the time to stop, reflect, and return to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what we get at in our readings that we hear today. This idea of return, of repentance even. That's what we hear in our readings, this call to return and once again be with our Lord. That's what this day is about. That's what this season is about. It's about looking at ourselves and thinking, are we like the hypocrites that Jesus talks about? Are we doing this just simply for what other people think of us? Are we here today? Are we here on Sundays? Because we want people to see us. We want people to see how pious we are. Are we focused on what the world thinks of us? Or do we instead go and be alone with God, building that relationship, letting it grow and develop? Is that where our lives are? And if not, Are we ready to turn and let that be where we are going? Because that's what God really wants, is that deep connection with us. God wants us to go into our rooms and have a conversation with him. God wants for us to have that deep and abiding 
relationship with him. That's what it's all about. That's what this season is an opportunity for us to take and to receive. Now, there are a lot of people going back to the Chronicles of Narnia who have different views on why Susan did stray away from Narnia and from Aslan, why she did become more focused on the world. And the theory that I like the best is that Lewis was planning a sequel, a sequel where Susan's children go into another world, and that that's an opportunity to bring Susan back in to these other worlds, back into being there with Aslan. And I like that idea because it gives us hope. It gives us hope not only for Susan, but for each and every one of us, that in the times when we turn away from God, we can come back and we can find God in our lives once again. So if you're feeling that your focus is too much in what's going on in the world, what things you have to do, how other people see you, what makes you a pillar of our community, if you're worried or if you feel that you have gone too much into focusing on what the world thinks and you want so desperately to turn back and return to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, well, this season is the opportunity for you to do so. Lent is designed for us to be able to turn back, to have that relationship with God once more, to develop that relationship and grow it even. That's what Lent is all about for us. So if that's what you need, this is the season for you. This is a time to prepare, to develop, to renew our relationship with God so that we can all the more celebrate that love and that depth of relationship that we have with our Lord once the Easter time rolls around.